A total of 24 health care workers from the Canadian Armed Forces, the Red Cross and Newfoundland and Labrador are now helping Alberta with its COVID-19 response. As healthcare providers, we uh, are just ingrained with uh, wanting to help others, and we feel a deep connection with, you know, other healthcare providers across the country, whether or not they're our immediate colleagues or not. The additional staff has helped Alberta expand its ICU capacity just as patient numbers are beginning to fall. But in neighboring Saskatchewan, intensive care units are struggling to keep up with the number of patients sick with COVID-19. If we hit a certain threshold of that number where we were close to last weekend of uh, ICU capacity, then we'll start looking at out of province. That's We have all of the plans in place to be able to move people out of province if need be, but we're not there right now. Saskatchewan's health minister says he spoke with his counterpart in Ontario Wednesday and that Ontario has agreed to accept Saskatchewan patients as soon as there is need. But the Canadian Medical Association says the province needs stronger public health measures in place as well. I think gathering limits are really critical at this point. I think they also really do need to give strong consideration to a circuit breaker. They have pushed their healthcare system to the edge of collapse, and the only way to really bring numbers down quickly is to limit close contacts. Saskatchewan waited until mid-September to implement an indoor mask mandate, while its vaccine passport system only began on October 1st. And that has been good enough for us to get a, a plateauing, but uh, not sufficient to see us get that rapid decline that we'd like to see in order to take pressure off our system. And unlike Alberta, Saskatchewan imposed no gathering limits over Thanksgiving, leaving many in the medical community fearing that a bad situation here could soon become worse. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.